unfortunately producing these cookie cutter programs which can essentially take people further away from their goals can actually be quite damaging to their mental health. So here we are, it's a Tuesday, and it's another TFNL video. Lord knows why, but some people actually enjoy watching them, and thankfully, I actually really enjoy making them, so it's kind of like a win-win. So this video wasn't actually meant to be a ting this week. I was meant to do a, another reviewing influencer workout series video from like three weeks ago. Somebody dropped me a comment, on one of the previous videos saying, can you have a look at this person because things are looking a bit spicy and not the good kind of spicy, the bad kind of spicy. So I did have a gander, obviously, that's why you're watching this video. And I felt like due to the nature of what's occurring, it was probably a wise move to bring this video forward. I don't wanna to give too much away early on, so you'll understand what I'm talking about in the next few minutes. I'm gonna cover her Instagram, I'm gonna cover her YouTube, look at her other bits and bobs, as well as focusing on what has been highlighted to me. Obviously, if you aren't sure who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mickey Peachy, who is a self-proclaimed master trainer and glute specialist. I assume that means she's qualified. I know right now you're questioning, great Harry, looking forward to this video. Why wouldn't you be? But something's missing. You can't quite put a finger on what's missing. And you are right, something is missing, and I'll tell you what that is, and that's a tan. Last video, or the video before, I said, no, I'm not actually this pale. Uh, it turns out I accidentally lied, considering clearly I am. As I'm looking to drop some qualified knowledge bombs on this, we're gonna wear an appropriate hat. This is embarrassing. My head's actually too big for this hat. Actually, true story, I used to struggle to put hats on at school because my head's too big. This is annoying. <sighs> this is actually, this is... First thing I see, pushing supplements. If you know me, you know I'm not a massive believer in supplements. A lot of influencers in the industry claim that supplements will do far more for you and your physique than they actually will. Granted, yes, there are some supplements that are heavily researched and ones I would actually recommend. Creatine monohydrate is a prime example of one of those. They will not make or break a physique. I get she's trying to push supplements, trying to push a brand because she's probably getting money from it, but don't sell a pipe dream. I did see somewhere that she was pushing a fat burner. No, we don't look just straight up. No, realistically, fat burners are not going to do what they claim to do. They've got caffeine in, so they make you feel a bit sweaty and it makes your heart go pitter patter, pitter patter. Gym back and lats movements. What we're going to say here pull downs. Yeah, I'm a fan of pull downs. I personally don't like the two handle pull downs, just not my thing. Again, I know a lot of people who do like them. Obviously, she's not really showing a lot. It's very fast paced. It's kind of quickly showing what movements she prefers. I like the time under tension. In some cases, you've got to give yourself a bit of body English to help overload a bit further. I probably wouldn't go as slow personally, but that's just me. Face pulls, great rear delt movement, great for shoulder health. I'll give you a little trick tip for face pulls quickly. All well and good, pulling to the neck. Want to make it better, external rotation of the shoulder. Pull to the forehead. So as we're pulling, we're not just going across, we're going across and externally rotating. Really good for shoulder health. One move for a smaller waist. I've actually covered this in a video before, many moons ago when I was looking at influencer workouts. Transverse abdominal stuff. Yeah, working your transverse abdominals is great, should be done, but it is implied that doing that directly will essentially shrink your waist. Waist shrinkage is going to come from fat loss. I do have an element of respect for anybody who does encourage people to live an active and healthy lifestyle. I appreciate that. The gym is seen as a very intimidating environment for many, so to encourage people into that environment for them to realize it's hopefully not as bad as they thought it was it is great i appreciate that i'm not a fan of needing movements in most cases i just think there are far better alternatives an actual squat or something like a hip thrust this is quite impressive i, I would find this a difficult movement to do but i also think a lot of beginners who may be watching this video will find this very difficult to do and perhaps too difficult you know that cold play song you know you try your best but you don't succeed that's me training calves but because I don't succeed, I just don't try my best anymore. Two seconds before we carry on with the rest of the video, I've got to interrupt you very quickly. If you like the video, let me know you like the video by liking the video. Like goals obliterated, absolutely slapped out of the water at the moment. Love to see it. 300 likes on the video and I'll make more videos like this. It means a lot to me. It really helps the video and the channel because then YouTube sees that it's getting engagement and then decides to push it to new people, which then means new people find TFNL. That makes me big happy because obviously build the family. If you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and clicking the red button down below because it's free to do so and it really helps me and it does mean a lot. Click the bell next to it if you want to get notified when I upload every week. At the end of the video, obviously I've got comment quest of the week, so hang around for that one because it, it's a saucy one. And please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to hear them. Heavy hip thrust on the Smith machine. She says 550 pounds. Back in my powerlifting days, my squat was around that but my hip thrust was definitely not around that. And yeah, I can do that, so fair play. That, that's, that's big, big stuff. If you look at her Instagram page, you see a link tree. This is what you've been waiting for. This is what I was talking about at the start of the video. So you click on the link tree, very nice. You go, oh, custom workout and nutrition plans. Let's have a tip. Don't mind if I diddly do. I'm ready, trust me, I'm born ready. Here's the thing, let's have a chat. 
So what's included? Personalized workout program, personalized meal plan. Obese to Beast actually covered this really well in one of his most recent videos, which is actually the video I was directed to. So I would definitely recommend having a look at that video. I think it's about 28 minutes long, but it's a great video and one that's worth watching. And I'm not gonna go into as much detail as he did because essentially I don't wanna regurgitate everything he's already said. But when you've got over a million followers, you're not making custom plans for people. A lot of people will buy into these influencers to be their personal trainers, their coaches, and expect somebody with a mass following to know a mass amount. Unfortunately, I don't believe there is a correlation between number of followers and amount of knowledge. It is a real shame because it takes away from a lot of good coaches in the industry, it takes away from a lot of personal trainers in the industry, and it also can promote a lot of damaging things for people who are observing this content, and that's not what we want to see. So there's a video which John covered, is a woman basically speaking about her experiences. Unfortunately, they were very negative. She basically stated how she wanted to gain muscle but had a very active job, but Mickey put her on a low calorie diet with quite an emphasis on cardio in the training, which then resulted in her losing weight and actually getting further away from her goals of building muscle. That implies to me that this individual may be more focused on financial gain than actually helping people. Unfortunately, producing these cookie cutter programs which can essentially take people further away from their goals, especially after they've invested their trust and money into you, can actually be quite damaging to their mental health. Which is even more of a shame considering Mickey speaks about mental health. Here it says she started her fitness journey and transformation because she had low self-esteem, extreme social anxiety, PTSD and depression. So clearly Mickey does understand how difficult and challenging mental health obstacles can be. Because first of all, I'm sad to hear that Mickey has been through a tough time. I don't like to hear that anyone has been through a tough time. But I'm also more sad to hear that is potentially capitalizing off other people's tough times. That to me is an extreme problem in the fitness industry and it's a problem that I wish didn't exist. And it's a problem that does genuinely upset me, but it's also a problem I know that's not going away anytime soon. Obviously, as you know, if you've been following the channel for a while, I said this in many videos, but mental health is extremely important to me and is extremely important to the TFNL family. That being said, if you are struggling personally, we do have a need to talk uh, section in the Discord channel, which is obviously linked below, in which you can go on, click and just vent, talk to other people and maybe just look for some advice if you need it or merely someone to listen if you need that too. On top of that, if you'd rather, you know you're more than welcome to reach out to me if you are, you are struggling and you want somebody to talk to. Again, I may not be able to fix the problem, but I will try my best to help in any way I can. I think the thing is, we live in this world where the fitness industry is almost normalized trying to be someone you're not. How many times do you see someone say, I, w I want to look like this person? I've said this before, but why not have a body like you? Because these influencers are in great shape and they have fantastic physiques, sometimes they can almost promote that you can achieve a similar physique in a short period of time if you follow their workouts and essentially give them money and trust. Rome wasn't built in a day, these things take time. Progress is progress, baby steps are still steps. You will have setbacks, there will be ups and downs. Sometimes mental health struggles may make it difficult for you to progress. You're allowed bad days, you're allowed bad weeks, and you're allowed bad periods. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, especially if you're struggling. Spend some time focusing on you and your well-being, because the gym's not going anywhere. It's there now, and it'll be there once you've overcome your demons. I apologize for rambling. If somebody is pushing customized workout plans for $30 a month when they've got a million followers or a lot of followers, it's not a customized workout plan. It's a cookie cutter program that's been forwarded to you and also forwarded to about 10, 50, 100, 200, 1,000 other people. The sad reality is a lot of people will believe it, a lot of people buy into it, a lot of people will be disappointed with the results. Mickey doesn't do a lot on YouTube, but she does have a little bit, and we're gonna look at that briefly now. It is impossible to spot treat fat. I rate that. Just because you're working out an area doesn't mean you're targeting fat loss to that area. Where you gain and lose fat is predominantly genetic. What you need to focus on is being in the calorie deficit for an extended period of time, but obviously not too long, in which you will lose fat from the areas your body wants you to lose fat from. Again, if you have really stubborn belly fat, you will lose that fat eventually. It just may take a little while longer than everywhere else. So, as you would have seen from a lot of her videos we looked at, she wears a weight belt very often. So a belt does have a purpose to help with core bracing, especially when forming compound movements or heavy compound movements, let's say the squat and the deadlift, for example. The main reason she wears a weight belt is for core support and stability. Fine, all I would say is learn to brace your core effectively without a belt before you then incorporate a belt. That's just what I believe and that's just personal preference. Two other reasons for Mickey wearing a belt is because it gives the appearance of a smaller waist. Uh, it's not gonna make your waist smaller, but obviously when you're wearing something tight, it's gonna make your waist look smaller temporarily. But another one is avoiding an oblique pump. That implies obviously she gets a massive oblique pump, which is very uncomfortable when she is training. It does make you question a few things, and um, one of which is Anavar. Anavar is a PED, uh, they call it the female PED because a lot of bikini athletes use it. One of the big effects of Anavar is pumps. It gives you horrendously bad pumps. The way you get these pumps very much depend on the person. A lot of people say their calves get horrifically pumped. It actually 
actually hurts to walk and they can't finish their session. I'm not saying that she is, I'm just saying this is a potential as to why she may be experiencing these horrific pumps. Again, I'm merely speculating, I have no proof of this. A lot of influencers of all genders have dabbled with enhancements at some point in their career. But that's it. These are my thoughts. Obviously, I've covered a few things. These videos are merely my opinion. You don't have to agree with them. You may disagree with them. But regardless, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm never assessing people personally because I don't know them as people. I know them as influencers and content creators. So I'm assessing their content, not them. But I'm just a really quite disappointed with the whole custom program stuff. Her workouts, sometimes not not big fan, sometimes quite disappointed. But on occasion, some of the movements she was doing were actually quite good and I, I rated them. But now it's time for comment question of the week. It's a very relevant one to what we've been speaking about and it's a very spicy one. Moose asks, if you were tasked with fixing the incredible harm that the fitness influencer arena causes for the mental health of youth, how would you begin? What are the first steps you would take in order to help make the fitness content that's out there less harmful? If there's anything I could do right now to make the fitness content out there less harmful, I think it would be to make fitness content more regulated and essentially encourage people to promote better information and a better message, which then discourages social comparison. That's a great question. That's actually a really hard question to answer because in five minutes time, I'll probably change my answer because I don't want to say bin social media because I think social media could be fantastic, even though it can cause a lot of damage. I just think content on social media needs to be more regulated to then put social media in a more positive direction rather than allowing people to fall into the negative trap it can lead to. Good dog. Oh, here he is. Oh, oh. He's so big. Imagine that I actually came back after changing to when the dog got back from his walk to show him. Just because of last week. Look at, look at the size of it. Look at the size of it. Calm your bit. Oh, here we go. But that's it, that's the video. Again, if you like the video, let me know you like the video by liking the video. 300 likes and we'll uh, obviously make more like this. If you like the hat, tell me you like the hat by subscribing to the channel down below, clicking the red button and maybe the bell next to it so you get notified when I'm gonna wear a hat next. I've got a few decent ones lined up, just be ready for those. And if you do want me to answer your question at the end of next video, drop a question down below in the comment section for comment question of the week and I shall do so. Thank you so much for tolerating my rambling. Thank you so much for tolerating my waffling and thank you so much for tolerating the video.